hi welcome to my channel my name is christina thank you guys for watching like and sharing and subscribing i am just so compelled today because um just a lot of stuff that i notice is going on in the world and i haven't really been doing my channel because obviously like i always tell you guys um my channel is really 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 not approved and so i have to start really shielding you myself uh, doing a lot of shielding to the technology as well because they can interfere with technology they interfere with everything they they really do and when i refer to they i am referring to the um you know the new age technologists who think that they have some superior technology over technology and fyi i don't know where you are on your journey but technology is not new okay technology is not new okay technology isn't new okay the technology that we have now compared to before is actually a piece of shit you know it's a piece of crap actually um the technology that our ancestors have created many 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 eons ago was, was so amazing that these star seeds actually were hunted killed beaten um black listed all kind because the the tools that they really created back then are so much more sophisticated and i'm talking about technology i'm talking about technology okay technology the technology that we have now is as you can tell by the state that we're in in the world you can see um you can see what technology has done and what technology hasn't done um and so I really want to talk to you about religion. I'm talking about all religious lenses, okay? I'm talking about all religious lenses. I am going through major warfare, but that's great because I have to learn that I have to shield you because the information that I'm telling you, no one is going to tell you and um, no one has told me and um, they really do not want these information to come out, I'm telling you, but we are shielded, okay? We are shielded. And so what I want you to know is one, if you are religious, you have a religious God okay your guide is going to push whatever agenda that you're following so for example let's say the catholic now we know the catholics are known for child abuse um the catholics are known for child abuse the, the catholics are known for um raping little boys little girls they're known for all kind of all kind of fraudulent behavior so we know if you are a part of catholicism you are connected to that chain of entities you are connected to whoever controls that and um if you are connected to whoever controls that they are controlling you so most of the times when you find yourself in these situations you find yourself going you know going through the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and not really getting any okay they put you in something called there's so many veils and there's so many different names that you can call it it, it can be a veil you can call it a veil um there's different names there's different techniques that they have to to veil you to cover you um to hide the deep dark truth about what humanity has gone through and what humanity has not gone through a lot of the things that we think that we have gone through we actually haven't and a lot of the things that we have gone through we don't even know that we've gone through we don't know how ancient we are and how a lot of these things keep recycling and keep recycling well as in terms of this um religious wars why do you think we have religious wars why do you think that religion is so propagated you have i'm just going to use islam and i'm going to use now you're free to have your you're free to do that but you have to understand where it's coming from it's coming from a place of let's say sacrifice okay when you think of sacrifice let, let if you're a, if you have a child in your mind would you sacrifice your child why would you why would your child even be what is your child worth and see this is exactly what has happened we're sacrificing that's exactly what what is happening we're sacrificing our children to the churches we're sacrificing our children to these um temples to these synagogues to every to everything and we have no clue what is going on can you imagine you're sacrificing your child and the pope is being um accused of raping children can you imagine that that's the entity that you have sacrificed your child to do you see the picture you're bringing your children to me i rape children and you're sacrificing i'm blessing your children and you know who who i am i'm going to take your child's soul and this is exactly why a lot of people a lot of these children and you think that they're angry they're not angry you think that they're you know you, we think that they're meant no they've been sacrificed to some entity they've been sacrificed and the entity has been disguised as god so you don't you call 
good evil and you call um you call good evil and you call evil good you think bringing your children to these churches and sacrificing them to these pastors and having them bless your children is the um, right thing to do and there's nothing wrong with that because we don't know we're doing what is a custom we're doing what um what our parents has done we we're doing what is traditional we're doing what is the norm we're on a we're on a goddamn wheel we're on a ancestral wheel we're on a political wheel we're on a galactic wheel we're on a universal wheel we're on a planetary wheel we're on a reincarnation wheel we're, we're on a karmic wheel you have to wake up at some point in time you have to you have to really realize who you are. If you understand, for example, let's take Archangel Michael. I used to call on Archangel Michael. There is no goddamn Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael has is a person that has been through galactic war and is no more even available to society. Okay, he is no longer available to society. He has been, um, there has been so many galactic wars throughout the ages and he is no longer so who do you think that you're talking to when you talk to archangel michael okay there is no archangel there aren't any there aren't really the archangels that you identify with are not the true archangels okay a lot of them are fallen a lot of them are fallen angels and to be honest with you they're not even your guardians you are your guardian okay you are your guardian this is why you are bombarded with nonsense you are bombarded with lies. You are bombarded with everything to take you out of your true, not really leadership, but true confidence with your God self. Your God self is you. You are God. God connects with you. You are, There is only one God. There is only one God. When you, when you know that there is only one God and you understand that I am God, you are God, you would never sacrifice me. You would never sacrifice your child. You would never believe in a goddamn sacrifice to begin with. If you believe that there is one God and that I am God and that you are God, you can't sacrifice God. You cannot. So that being said, this is the message that I have for you. Please do let me know what you think. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. I, was, I haven't done a message in so long because honestly, I'm learning a lot myself. Um, I do a lot of grid work. Um, and when I say grid work, what is grid work? Let me explain to you what grid work is. This is what grid work is, okay? Grid work is finding out that Catholicism is, is phony. So now what you have to do is, you have to, now in order to break free from that connection that you made with that deity, you have to go through the different portals. You have to go through the different realms, the different layers, the different structures okay the different structures and these are they're in every um they're in everywhere meaning they're in every part of the world so you have to travel ast astrologically um not astrologically but you do have to, to travel um we are able of quantum traveling we're able to quantum leap and you have to travel through these grids these are the structures that hold these belief systems in place and what you have to do as a grid work is now you have to re um orient that grid to now connect with your new beliefs so you have to kind of dismantle that grid and how you interacted with that grid and kind of regrid yourself so that's what a grid worker is um so please do let me know um if you have any questions um, my name is christina um thank you guys for watching liking sharing and subscribing